Hey guys, welcome to another video. So uh, I have a market tomorrow and it is Friday today. So I'm just gonna go through all my bins because I had a huge craft show last weekend. So I have to take out the stuff that I won't be bringing to this market because um, at this market, I only have one eight foot table. So I obviously don't have room to put out like my blankets and cardigans and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go through my bins and take out the stuff that I won't be bringing. So in my last video, you guys said that you enjoyed the fact that it was longer. So um, I'm gonna try to make my videos longer, especially my market vlogs and breakdowns. But um, that was a three day craft show the one that the video was longer. So um, the markets I'm doing now is just like regular farmer's market. So in order for me to make the videos longer, I guess I have to film a bit the day before. So I'm gonna do my best to make the videos longer and show more of the process of getting ready for the market and at the market. Okay, so the first thing that I'm actually gonna do is put like the key rings on the keychains that I made this week. So I made two watermelons, I made one lemon and one orange, and I made two little butterfly keychains, I love these ones. And I made two bee keychains, I might make more today of probably the bee ones because they do sell really well, but we'll see how everything goes and how much time everything takes. Okay, so here I have my three bins. You can only see two, but there are three. Um, so all of my stock that I have left over from my big craft show is in there. And so I'm gonna take out, like you can see some hats here. Um, I'm gonna have to take those out because I can't sell those at the farmer's market because there is another vendor that sells hats and I guess they don't want like two people selling the same things. So um, I don't bring my hats to that market, so I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna bring just my plushies like I normally do at this market and that's gonna free up a lot of space in those three bins. So honestly, I think I'm gonna be able to fit everything in two bins. I did crochet some stuff um, this week, but I didn't make that much because I ran out of stuffing like halfway through the week. So, um, I'm gonna try to see if I can fit everything in two bins. If not, it's gonna be like two and a half. So um, I'm gonna do a little time lapse of that because it would be very boring to watch a long video of me unpacking my bins and packing them back up. So while I was doing that, I realized that I should probably put price tags on the stuff that I made this week. So I already like separated all of my price tags in the different price categories. So now I'm just gonna put them on the stuff that I made this week so I can put that stuff in the bins as I'm like going through them, I guess. So I was definitely too optimistic about fitting everything in two bins. So it's probably gonna be like two bins and a half, but um, I guess that's good because it means I have more stock than I thought I did. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to use three bins, but that's fine. Okay, so it's Friday night now. Um, I have crocheted a few things for the market today. But I, dis I did spend most of the day crocheting little dog Santa hats for my sister. She wanted me to make some for her dogs. 
and she happens to have an outrageous amount of dogs so it took like almost all day and then i did crochet a little chicken that i will be bringing to the market tomorrow and i also crocheted this bear i love this yarn it's so pretty like the color i love it so i'm just gonna put price tags on these two things and put that in the bin right there and i'll be heading to bed and we'll be going to the market tomorrow morning It is Saturday morning, so um, we're just gonna pack the car really quick. We didn't pack it yesterday, which is weird. It's usually packed the night before, but um, I'm all ready now. So we're gonna pack the car and we're gonna be on our way. Okay, so I'm back home. It's actually Sunday. The market was yesterday. I just relaxed yesterday after the market, but now I'm going to tell you guys how much money I made and everything I sold. It was actually not a bad market yesterday. So yesterday at the market, I made $363 in sales and the booth fee is $32.20 and and the square fees were $2.52. So my total profit for yesterday's market were $328.28. So that isn't like my best market ever, but it definitely isn't my worst and it's not horrible. So I'm pretty happy about it. Now I'm gonna tell you guys how many of each item that I sold out of the amount that I brought. And if I have a picture of that exact item or something very similar that I made, I'm gonna put a picture up for you guys and I will tell you guys how much I sold that item for. So I sold one snake out of three and I sold it for $25. I sold five chickens out of five and I sold them for $15 each. So I definitely need to make more chickens. I sold one regular sized squid out of six and I sold it for $18. I sold my one giant squid that I had for $45. This was sold to another vendor, I guess her daughter or granddaughter or something had been eyeing it for a while and put it on her Christmas list. So now she bought it for Christmas. I had brought eight chicken nuggets and I only sold two for $8 each, which is kind of weird because usually at this market, I sell so many chicken nuggets, but I still sold some. So it's not the end of the world. I had brought 13 chunky octopuses and I sold three of them for $10 each. I had brought four mini mushies and I sold two of them for $10 each. This was my first ever market bringing those and people loved them. So I'm definitely going to make more. I had only brought one small axolotl and I sold it for $18. So I definitely need to make more. And I brought four big axolotls and I sold one for $28. I only had one medium gecko and I sold it for $15. And I do have some small and large geckos. That one was just like a size in between. So I priced it at $15 and I sold it. I had brought two bee keychains and I sold one for $10. I had brought seven regular bees and I sold two for $12 each. I had brought two chunky whales and I sold one for $15. I had brought seven leggy frogs and I sold two of them for $8 each. And I had brought three Santa ornaments and I only sold one for $8.
So that brings us to a total of 25 items that sold. So compared to my last event, which was um, a three day craft show, this is really not a lot, but I mean, this is pretty typical for this weekly farmer's market that I do every week. So it's not bad at all. So um, as you guys saw, I did get a clip of me interacting with people at the market, but unfortunately I didn't catch me doing a sale like on video. I mean, it's really hard to know when someone's gonna actually buy something. Um, right before I put my phone out to record, I had made like three to four sales like right before. So then I was like, well, I'm gonna put my phone out to record because there was a lot of people walking. So I mean, I'm more likely to make a sale when there's a lot of traffic. So I put my phone out, but I didn't make a sale for the whole time that my phone was recording. So um, that's just what happens. I can't record the whole market. So um, unfortunately I didn't catch on video when I made a sale, but that's okay. <laughs> also, one thing that was pretty interesting at this market, um, there was a kid that came to me and he tried to buy one octopus that was $15. He tried to buy it for 15 cents. So it was very interesting to explain to him that 15 cents and $15 is very different. And I unfortunately cannot sell anything for 15 cents. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support me further, please check out my coffee link in the description and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.